I am Dark Lord Kaiser. Welcome back to the Talos Principle. Again, we're back. Hello. So, yes, we're going to continue on going through here. So, I believe the last thing I did on the uh, Talos Principle was the New Year Special. Which, uh... Well, I could have timed the uh, recording. Uh, recording the audio with the, the images a bit better in that, I will admit. It was my first time doing something like that, so I think it went quite well. And, of course, within about an hour, Mr. Evans had uh, already put up another list of <laughs> Easter eggs to go hunting for. So, I'm not going to do that today. I will do that at some point. Um, I'm going to continue with the the main quest, as it were. I just wanted to come out the back here to see if there were any... Okay, apparently Elohim yells at me if I go any further. I want to see if there were any holes in the uh, the ice. Is this ice? I don't know. Whatever this flooring is, I want to see if there's any holes here. Because I am 90% sure that when I go downstairs... That's where the holes are going to be. Hey, there's a thing over there. I ain't going to look at that yet. I think I'm... Oh, I know what that is. That's, um... Secrets, which... There's a secret star over there. I'm pretty sure I saw it in a, uh, One of the earlier episodes. But requires a laser system I don't have. Whatever. Down we go. In fact, I was looking completely the wrong side there, wasn't I? So we were looking at the Tower of Death. Go down. Doors open. All of a sudden, there are holes in the ceiling and no Tower of Death. So is that supposed to be, like, um... Just like a painting of the sky? Because it's moving. As in, um, what's it called? Parallax scrolling kind of thing? So the sky is moving independently to these slats. So, someone didn't think this design through. Naughty yellow him. What am I doing? Let's get on with stuff. Stuff and things. People aren't here to watch me stare at the sky. Of course, I do have absolutely no idea where I got to with the, uh... Here we go. Number four. So what we got. Plenty of things. I've unlocked all of those. Oh, that's a fair point. I unlocked the um, the play button thing. I don't know if it, one of the, well, one of those two. But I haven't actually had a chance to use it yet. So I imagine we're going to see what the hell that's about. <laughs> I remember what it's about because, well, there was a slight hint in the um, developer's island bit. We saw someone playing with one of them. But let's go with this. Okie dokie. So, no Milton yet, just more random text documents. Blank knew it was the truth. Now I will tell you of the many perils you will face in your journey through the Duat. Listen well, for the challenges that lie before you are great. If you do not prove yourself worthy, you may never reach the eternal reed fields of Osiris, and you, will, and you may be lost forever. From the second death there is no awakening. That seems fairly similar to what's going on here. Which I assume is the point. Elohim saying, hey, do you want to come hang out with me for all eternity? Cool, go prove your worth. We'll eventually have to deal with that with the Tower of Death, I imagine. When we've got all the pieces, we'll have to choose. Do we wander up the Tower of Death or do whatever the hell Elohim wants us to do? Anyway, let's keep reading. The scribe brought forth a great papyrus and carefully unfolded it before the dying man. The dying man beheld that it was a map of the Duat, showing the many paths that led to the Tower of Anubis, where his heart was to be weighed. On each of the many paths, which treaded through the Duat like the infinite threads woven by... Neath? I don't know if I'm... Okay, yeah. Because it didn't go down any further, so there's a three next to it, implying there's supposed to be a footnote there, but I don't know whether it's on another deck stuff or whatever. Never mind. They were marked the dangers that a traveller must face. There were the great walls of iron that none but the gods could cross, the gates made of purest light, and so the traveller could not avoid the trials that had been decreed, and could only proceed towards the tower by proving his worth, thus earning the key to each sacred gate. So the second half's different, in which we're proving our worth by going towards the tower, whereas Elohim say, prove your worth by not going up the tower of the many puzzles. Chat log Charlie. Who's chat log Charlie? Man, you know what really freaks me out? What? The human body decomposes quite quickly, so all the information stored in chemicals in our brains will be gone really quickly. Dude. 
but computers and books last a long time. So all our messages, our ideas, our books, will all be out there. Our porn. And everything's frozen again. Bugger me. Let's just give everything a minute to catch up. Yeah, Audacity seems to be plugging along. Okay. God knows what that's going to be like in the edit. Computer decided to freeze on me there. If, you were, if something weird just happened in terms of what you just saw. Sorry. Where do I get to? Uh, so our messages, our ideas, our books, it'll all be out there. Our porn. Even being transmitted through space. Yeah, our porn too, I guess. We'll all be gone, but the works of Aristotle will still exist. So we'll Star Trek, Firefly, Babylon 5, Lord of the Rings, Blade Runner, Cyber Redacted of Planetron 6, Shakespeare, Byron, hell, even video games. Redacted Overdrive 3, Seattle are redacted, Dutch Redacted Cascade, the ca <laughs> the redacted of Redacted Mountain. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, imagine if aliens find those. I think aliens would be quite glad to find some of our pornography, because it's pretty much the only way they're ever going to learn about our sort of intimate interactions without actually being there to watch them. So, yeah, let's see the Star Trek episode on that, shall we? <laughs> Okay, journal. Oh. Archive continues to grow, attempting to maintain a semblance of order as difficult as expected. Lost seven people this week. Statistically speaking, trend should increase. Must focus on realistic goals. Too little time to grieve. Okay, so what we learned there is uh, the team that's working on the thing to prevent. Well, I don't think they're trying to prevent everyone dying. I think they've sort of uh, just assumed that they can't fix that. So sort of taking that it's uh, an illness of some description, I think, is the implication. Um, illness has started to kill the team members, so they've got to make sure they work quickly, efficiently, and, you know, try and finish the project before everybody is done do or die. Nope, nothing interesting there. Unless, it's just one of those things where they put it there and I can walk through it again. Use? Oh, I found a thing. Entry denied? Screw you. <laughs> Let me in. I want to do the thing. So it's 2004, 12, 11. So, unfortunately, when people put the dates like this, I don't know whether it's talking about the 11th of December or the 12th of November. Because I'm assuming it's going here month, day. But I don't, I don't know. Americans, for some reason, put the day in the middle of the, the thing, which is stupid and wrong, and I don't know why they do that. Whatever. Let's... Let's actually do a thing. I've spent a lot of time messing around doing nothing. He says, immediately running to a QR code that's attracted his attention. I have travelled to the edge of the known world. Though it seems to stretch on forever, a domain is much less than we met. What? That's my name! I haven't been here yet. Unless... Is there a paint pot around here and it's remembered from the previous time I played this game and put the same QR code up? If it has, that's kind of cool. It's also kind of disturbing because I genuinely don't remember doing that. Right, anyway. Let's get a puzzle out of the way. Wrap around the corner. Yay, it's this thing. So this is how this works. I press record. I go to a thing, like, I don't know, that. I come back, press play, hey look, it's ghost me. Ghost me has put a ghost thing. Okay. So the projector disappears. So if I take a connector and put it down, I wonder. As I said, it's been a while since I played this, I don't I remember some of the mechanics, but not the specifics. So if I do that, so a laser connects to it now. I think this is going to be the uh, the puzzle here. So ghost me picks something up, puts it there, and bam, laser. So I can then connect a laser to that laser, but then it'll disappear when that does. Okay, 
Right, what does this QR code say? Some of these challenges would be designed with cooperation in mind, but I'm the only one here. Sheep, either you've not figured out how that thing works, or you ain't unlocked it yet. Go make. Hey, what's over here? Nada. Right. Okay. Right, simple enough puzzle. Take connector. I'll put it there. Because now, ghost me. Oh, no, wait. Ghost me's not going to work that way, is he? Okay, I'll just have to... Sorry, my brain worked backwards there. I thought ghost me could take the thing and connect it to the one I've moved. But, of course, I have to do it the other way around. Because that's how these things work. I'm an idiot. Right. I've actually got to kill a few seconds while uh, future me connects them. Because I don't know how long that's going to take. Do 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 Go away. Right, so on to the next one. Green thing this way. Oh, what do you say? Oh, look, another puzzle. Another voice telling me I'm Bethel. Another broken down computer with fragments of nothing. This world is a bad joke, perpetuated by a cruel god too dumb to hit the off switch. Please don't hit the off switch on me. I want to live. Here we do. Self-help tutorial? Surely the tutorial was the previous one. Never mind. Okay, so recording device. Puzzle pieces up there. To get in there, I need to go through the blue. We'll switch over there. What the hell? Ah! Okay. So, I see what I need to do first. Start recording. And stand here like a lemon for... 10 seconds or so. This will then require future me to go through there, hit the little yellow switch, turning, hopefully turning this force field off, and then we can move through the next bit. That is the plan. Thank you, past me. Bam. So now, the next past me, go through here, stand on this, and future me can run through this one. There's no point in having that do that anymore. Stop. Record. Stand here like 11 for a few minutes, but that should be enough time. So I don't need to go around the corner, don't I? So Ghost Me stands there. I go through here. Yeah. Up the ladder. Get the green piece. Bye, Ghost Me. Let's see. Oh, that's the way I can. <laughs> Confused again. Like, why is there a teleporter there? Because that's backwards. I need to go this way. Okay, stop glitching at me, tree. Next one. In here. Double plate. Okay. So that opens one door, that opens the other. Okay. And that's another statue. Cool. Nice simple one, then. Ghost me stands here to open the first gate. Future me walks through. I stand on this. That one. Okay, future me walks through the next one, goes round, collects the piece. Okay, ghost me, do your thing. Thank you. Now, stand on the other one. No, on the other one. Thank you. Get the piece, open the gate. And bam, on to the next one. Wow, we're rocketing through these, aren't we? I see something over there, but I'm not going to look at it yet. We'll get to it. Redundant power supply. Interesting. Okay, so I stand here. This opens, but even if I were to go through there, that would get in the way. So... All the lasers are coming from that thing being redirected down there. Jesus. Okay. Box. Okay, so past me. 
the rescue. Hello. Okay, pass me, do your thing. Get the box. Move here. Oh. Ah. And there's a ghost box, because it was recorded as well. Okay. Now what? So I can't get through that. Hmm. And I can't just block the lasers, because they's a bit high. Ah! I has a cunning plan. Hold on there for a minute. Whether it'll work, we've yet to see. Pass me, takes this box, puts it there, jumps on it, and I'm now blocking this. Okay. I'll do this until it says 20 at the bottom left there. And take my box and put it there. Hopefully... Future me can now deal with that. That should be enough time. Right. Uh damn it. Okay, we're still doing it, we're doing it. We're fine. So pass me, blocks that laser, I block this one. Done. Right. Ah No, I need to wait for pass me to move first. And pass me needs to be quick about it. Got it. Aha. There we go. But past me is still recording, so the fan's on. Which means I'm now stuck on this side until the recording stops. There we go. Right. I can't get out there now because <laughs> the box is bit. Okay. Stay there. There we are. There we are. The puzzle is now solved for a future. Me comes along, whatever. Right, 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 right. Moving along. Shiny thing QR code. Oh dear, another death. Uh, child program. Code name at. Oh, at dead. Terminated here. Logic. Fatal flaw in series firmware. Final memory dump. Life short. Well, apparently yours certainly was. Okay, let's pick up the. It's too bright. I can't see what it is. Are you a feather? I think it's an inkwell. Like one of those old quill and ink things. What do you say? DNA is information transmitted across time. Sort of. The living and the dead are part of the same chain, bound together by chemistry. That's true of all species. But humanity has taken this bond further. Yeah, we have to dogs. Technology, we have access to the thoughts and ideas of people whose physical bodies are long gone. Also, we have dogs. Are you listening to me now? Even though I'm definitely dead at this point, uh, you're, you're dead. part of that chain. You have the capacity to remember. I have the capacity, and I choose to forget you just out of spite. Also, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just sort of running around. I want to see if there's any um any secrets back there. I mean, there might very well might be. I haven't uh, looked too closely. Have you enjoyed reading that QR code, guys? Because I ain't going back to it. Right, let's get a few more puzzles out of the way. Let's see. Once again, I've forgotten to set my record timer, so if this episode is slightly longer or shorter than other ones... Um... Oops. Nope, nothing there. I'm getting paranoid now. Anything that looks like a door, I'm... I think... Oh, maybe there's an Easter egg behind it. If I run into it enough, it'll open. No. Okay, let's look at this puzzle. I didn't bother looking at the name. That might come back to bite me. Okay. Lasers. And Buzz Buzz is going to cause problems there, isn't he? Is there a... Oh. There's a hole in the wall over here. You can bypass Mr. Buzz Buzz. Yeah. 
Is there a fan up there? Looks like there's a fan up there. Is either a fan or a secret? Maybe both. In fact, why not both? Actually, I think there legitimately might be a secret over there. <laughs> oh well, we'll deal with that another time. Okay. Ooh, two QR codes. What do you say? It seems that mistakes are easily forgiven here. I thought I had surely died, and yet here I am. Reset, rebooted, reborn. I will tackle these challenges anew. And then Sansara died. <laughs> Oops. Final memory of being torn limb from limb by machines for the rest of eternity becomes less and less appealing to me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, Samsara uh, accidentally got killed by one of these Mr. Buzz Buzzers. Couldn't control the. Couldn't solve the problem. And repeated that he's doing it so much, he chose just to stop. Just to stop. Okay. My plan is to do that. There we are. Now those two are going together, hopefully that will give me enough time to deal with that problem. Mr. Buzz Buzz can stay over there, because I'm going to need running over here. I don't know why I decided to do that panting, but whatever. There we are. Connector connected there. Opening the door. Opening the door. Okie dokie. At. Next to that. Let's get this. For as long as we can. Bam. Ah, damn it. Messed the uh, location up. Try that again. So that's not fine. That is fine. Okay. There. So I should have enough time there, since those two aren't getting in the way. So let's get that. D Jesus. Oh, I've got enough pieces to go to level two of the Tower of Death. What's this thing? That's a... Wait, what? Okay. Oh. So, does that mean secret star there? How do I get onto the star of the secrets? I didn't tell you. No, ow. That was probably not the solution. Hmm. I kind of feel like there must be a way of getting on top of a box and then getting on top of another box. Nope, that was not it. You think I'd be able to put the thing down like this? It's like if I could put it down on top of myself there and knock myself sideways. You'd think jump, drop box, and then put it on would be doable, but nope, apparently not. Hmm. I want to stop you around this I don't know. I'm pretty sure that whatever I have to do using these two boxes here is the solution. Unfortunately, beyond that, I don't know. feeling there was a previous episode where I struggled with the same problem of needing to get on top of two boxes somehow. Whatever. Okay, I'm not going to waste much more time on that. No, I said much more time. I am going to waste time on it, just not right this second. Okay. I have a feeling we've only got one puzzle left to do in this area. So I may as well see if I can do that one. And then we'll call it an episode. Yeah, Bandicam's telling me I've been recording for half an hour, so what the hell will make this one extra long? Why not? That can't what possibly. Is I shall not allow the corruption of my garden. Wait, Be what? Gone. Uh, what?
the hell did you just do, Elohim? Oh, look, a candle. And a paintbrush. Oh, I don't see castle. I knew it was a see castle. I think I just haven't actually bothered looking at the damn thing. So. Right, 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 right. I need this. Okay, so I think I need to go through that one first. Because that gets me this. This will then allow me to open that one. Use this connector to open this to get this. What is the purpose of this machine? something up here it can shoot a blue laser over there? Is that... Is that what I want to take away from this? I don't see a purpose of doing that because I can't get to the red laser from all the way over there. There's only... So that goes up there. It... Oh. Oh well, never bloody mind then. Hmm. The more I look at it, the more I feel this should be a solution. But I think I need a box. That goes up there and just knocks itself straight off you. So, just tell Right, let's go looking for a box, because that seems to be the only way I'm getting through. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, so there is a box. I'm a moron. <laughs> I saw the box, I just did nothing to do anything with the box. Okay. Let's put that there. I need to retrieve this connector. Because the box is up there. Alright, stop it. I suspect I'm not solving this puzzle in the most efficient manner, viewers. I apologise for that. Now, one, two, that goes up there, it gives me this, take that, run back here, so I'm going to need one of these, Look. let's face fact, the first thing I'm going to need to do, I'll stick that there, so I can see it from the other side, take this one, laser there, There. Right, fetch the box. Put the box on the thing. I went and put a laser down. Only problem is, I kind of need the thing up. Oh, As I said, not solving this in the most efficient manner by any stretch of the imagination. Right, that'll do. So I'm going to need one of these. Put on top of the box. There we are. Now that will float up there. Stay there. I now have a laser on high. So now I can go over here. One, two, three. Okay. 
Kyoki. Wait, what just? Oh. I just realised I heard something um, descending, but there was no reason for one to do such a thing, so I got confused for a moment. Okay. Right. As I say, Bandy has been recording for about half an hour. It occurs to me that's including the time I spend at the beginning faffing around getting to the start point. So, thank you very much for watching, viewers. Wait a minute, I don't say that. What do I say? Oh, yeah, that's right. Bye. Hey, viewers, guess what? I figured it out. I was watching the, uh, the playback as I was editing the video together and suddenly realised. Hang on a minute, maybe Mr. Buzz Buzz here's part of the solution. Assuming I can get him to do this again. There, there. Right. He stays over there. I must retrieve the other box. Ah. My box. Now, are you ready for the clever bit, viewers? You put the box on his head, and you can jump on top of him, and from there, you can jump on the wall. Stargate! Whee! Okay, I'm over here now. I did not realise it would send me quite that far. But, yes! Hooray! Victory for the Dark Lord. I did do a smart. What, that's all you're getting? Bye!